Hello again. This is Stephen Welsh, President of the International Chiropractors Association with the Daily Message for Tuesday, June 2nd. I hope you resonated with my special message yesterday. I just couldn't ignore what is happening in cities around the United States. But today I'll return to the theme of the past six weeks and continue to present you with information that will help you reassure your patients that there is no need for mass panic. You see, today I celebrate my 72nd birthday. And by all accounts in the media, I should be locked down in isolation and fearful for my life. Instead, I'm leading my life as normal as I can possibly be, and I'm not afraid. I'm not wearing a face mask 24 seven, and that's a topic that I'll tackle uh, tomorrow. And as every day goes by, and as more data becomes available, I just cringe at the misinformation being spread by some in the major media outlets. Well, today I'm going to read some excerpts from a press release from the medical press and provide some takeaways. Could exposure to the coronaviruses that cause the common cold help protect against COVID-19? Is herd immunity closer than previously thought? As nations lift lockdowns and experts worry about a potential second peak in cases, our ability to ward off infection is one of the hottest topics of scientific debate. You see, even the experts don't agree. Anyway, the article goes on to say that ever since it became apparent that children were less vulnerable to COVID-19 early in this pandemic, scientists have speculated that the regular spread of benign viruses in places like schools could have bolstered their immune response to the latest coronaviruses. Earlier this month, an American study in the journal Cell suggested that between 40 and 60% of the population could be immunized against COVID-19 without ever having been exposed to it. Hmm. Our study suggests that pre-existing immunity might be one of the factors to be considered. But at this point, it is simply a, a hypothesis that needs to be addressed with further experiments. I can't pronounce it, and I'm not going to try. But there's a hospital in Paris where a professor of emergency medicine has noticed a sharp, sharp drop in the number of infections among doctors compared with the start of the epidemic. With infections staying low three weeks after France lifted its strict lockdown measures, he thinks that could mean that the second wave is not coming and probably will not happen in that country. Well, those are the excerpts from the article. We'll put a link up to it so you can read the whole thing by yourself. But what are the takeaways? Well, number one, the issue of reaching herd immunity naturally is a hot topic among scientists. Interesting, isn't that the premise that we discussed eight weeks ago? And then in some countries, the virus is not spreading as fast as pre previously predicted. Isn't it interesting, okay, that many of the predictions are not turning into reality. Three, scientists, and did you know that scientists have sequenced the COVID virus and it only has 15 genes compared to our 30,000 and that its structure is very similar to previous coronaviruses? And so four, the working hypothesis is that if you caught a cold in the past from a different coronavirus, you may already have immunity. The bottom line, the issue of natural immunity is really a hot topic. And many of the scientists don't agree. And the fact is they got to do more studies and they got to do more research. But many are getting more optimistic that the situation may not as be as bad as had been predicted. Well, anyway, that's my update for today. Meanwhile, make, your, make sure you visit the ICA COVID research page. Please reach out and connect with the ICA. If you're not a member, please join today at www.chiropractic.org. We are here for you to help you help your patients because they need the reassurance that there is no need for mass panic. And don't forget, you are truly their beacon of hope. And we will get through these challenging times and we will do it by working together. Thank you.